Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit six, lesson 16, interpreting inequalities. Problem number one. Priya looks at the inequality 12 minus X is greater than five and says, I subtract a number from 12 and want a result that is bigger than five. That means that the solutions should be values of X that are smaller than something. Do you agree with Priya? Explain your reasoning and include solutions to the inequality in your explanation. Yes, I agree. And let me show you why. 12 minus X is greater than five. Subtract 12 from both sides. That gives you negative X is greater than negative seven. So we'll have to multiply or divide both sides by negative one. When we do that, we'll have to change the inequality sign. So now it reads positive X is less than positive seven. X represents all the solutions less than seven. Problem number two. When a store had sold two-fifths of the shirts that were on display, they brought out another 30 from the stock room. The store likes to keep at least 150 shirts on display. The manager wrote the inequality, three-fifths times X plus 30 is greater than or equal to 150 to describe the situation. A, explain what three-fifths means in the inequality. Three-fifths represents the remaining shirts on display after two-fifths of the shirts on display were sold. B. Solve the inequality. First, subtract 30 from both sides of the inequality. Then you're left with three-fifths times X is greater than or equal to 120. Next, to make it 1X, we need to multiply by the reciprocal of three-fifths. 5 thirds times 3 fifths times X equals 1 times X or X. And 120 times 5 thirds equals 200. The solution is X is greater than or equal to 200. C. Explain what the solution means in this situation. The solution means that there were 200 or more shirts originally on display. Problem number three from seventh grade unit six, lesson 13. You know, X is a number less than four. Select all the inequalities that must be true. Since X is a number that's less than four, any value that's less than four could be equal to X. On a number line, that would be any value to the left of four, not including four. Take a look at A, X is less than two. That's like saying all the values of X must be less than two. And that's not necessarily true because originally it was all the values of X must be less than four. Since there's values between two and four that could also be true, then A is not true. The values for X do not have to be less than two. They have to be less than four. Let's take a look at B. X plus six is less than 10. Subtract six from both sides and you're left with X is less than four. And that's true, X is less than four because the original inequality said, you know, X is a number less than four. Let's take a look at C, five X is less than 20. Divide both sides by five and you're left with X is less than four. And that's true because the original inequality is X is less than four. Take a look at D. X minus two is greater than two. Add two to both sides and you have X is greater than four. And this is not true because the original inequality was X is less than four. And the solution for D is X is greater than four. Take a look at E, X is less than eight. This is not true because five, six, and seven are all less than eight, but they're greater than four. So all values that are less than eight are not necessarily less than four. Problem number four. From seventh grade unit six, lesson 13. Here is an unbalanced hanger. A, if you knew each circle weighed six grams, what would that tell you about the weight of each triangle? Explain your reasoning. I can tell by looking at the hanger that the left side is heavier than the right side. 
That means that the value for three triangles is greater than the value for two circles. We can write this as 3t is greater than 12 if each circle is worth 6. That would be 6 times 2 or 12. Divide both sides by 3. t is greater than 4. The solution is t is greater than 4. This tells me that each triangle must have a value greater than 4. B. If you know each triangle weighed 3 grams, what would that tell you about the weight of each circle? Explain your reasoning. So this time they're asking us to imagine that each triangle weighs 3 grams. That would be 3 grams times 3 triangles or 9 grams. And since the hanger is tilting to the left, that means that 9 grams is greater than 2 circles. If we divide both sides by 2, then we have 4.5 is greater than C. That means that each circle must have a value less than 4.5. Problem number 5. From 7th grade unit 4 lesson 12. At a skateboard shop. A. The price tag on a shirt says $12.58. Sales tax is 7.5% of the price. How much will you pay for the shirt? We can start by figuring out what 7.5% of $12.58. 7.5% can be written as 0.075, and of means times. So 0.075 times $12.58 equals 0.9435. That's approximately 94 cents. So let's add that 94 cents tax to the price of the shirt. $12.58 plus 94 cents equals $13.52. The total cost of the shirt would be $13.52. B. The store buys a helmet for $19 and sells it for $31.50. What percentage was the markup? First, let's figure out what the markup was. $31.50 minus $19 will tell us how much the markup is. And we can divide that by 19, the price they bought the helmet for, to find the percent of the markup. The markup was $12.50. Divide that by 19, and you get 0.657. As a percent, that would be 65.7%, which is approximately 66%. So we can say that the markup for the helmet was approximately 66%. C. The shop pays workers $14.25 per hour plus 5.5% commission. If someone works 18 hours and sells $250 worth of merchandise, what is the total amount of their paycheck for this pay period? Explain or show your reasoning. First of all, if they only sold $250 worth of merchandise and they worked 18 hours, that store is going to go out of business. $14.25 times 18 hours plus 5.5% commission on $250. We can write that as 14.25 times 18 plus 0.055 times 250. That equals $256.50 plus $13.75. Their total amount for that pay period would be $270.25 which is actually more than the $250 worth of merchandise that they sold. So this company would go out of business real quick.